Let's face it, EVs aren't catching on as much as everybody wanted. Their high price tag, slow charging times, and somewhat compromising range have been among the biggest setbacks for EVs, all of which stem from one singular issue, batteries. However, Tesla has just announced a new battery that will end all these issues and begin a new EV revolution. Say hello to Tesla's diamond nuclear battery, and let's check what makes it such an impressive new addition to the world of EVs. But before we do that, we need to understand the concept of diamond batteries and what makes them so impressive. Nuclear diamond batteries, also known simply as diamond batteries, are a proposed battery type that uses radioactive energy as well as artificial diamonds to generate electricity. The logic behind this is the proposition that the batteries will be mechanically less complex and experience far less stress, increasing their longevity and reliability. These batteries will use the carbon-14 isotope, a radioactive isotope known for its decaying characteristics, as time goes on. The carbon-14 isotope starts decaying more and more, creating beta radiation. This is where artificially made diamonds come in. Man-made diamonds will be used because of their structure. Diamonds are excellent radiation absorbers, meaning they will easily absorb beta radiation released by the isotope, which will then be converted into electrical energy. As the beta radiation interacts with the diamond, it produces a minor electrical current. Since carbon-14 decays very slowly, this process can last as long as the half-life of the radioactive isotope. As a result, these batteries can last for unbelievably long periods and will practically never need to be recharged, essentially solving the decades-long issue of EV range and autonomy. In addition to this, they are indestructible and practically unbreakable, as no amount of regular use will wear them down. Sure, mechanical damage could render the battery less potent or entirely ruined, but this is true for all batteries. Furthermore, these batteries will have a positive impact on both the economy and the environment. First of all, if a battery doesn't need to be replaced for hundreds of years, it can be effectively recycled from an older vehicle and used in a newer one. Additionally, they are far more eco-friendly to build, as they do not require highly polluting industrial excavation and filtering processes. The energy density of these batteries could theoretically reach numbers tens or even hundreds of times greater than regular batteries. All these benefits have intrigued many companies, with Elon Musk being a top contender. Tesla's alternative battery search is on. Musk recently stated that Tesla has had some issues, most notably with the Giga Texas factory. The Model Y simply cannot be produced efficiently enough or quickly enough, turning this multi-billion dollar factory into an endless money pit for the company. According to Musk, the root of this problem lies in the fact that 4680 battery production still experiences severe issues. The production problems were so extreme that Musk decided to fire Drew Baglino, who had been with the company since its inception and was in charge of the 4680 battery. In addition, Musk promised the entire team behind the battery that they would all be fired by the end of the year if the battery wasn't fixed. So far, there have been no clear signs of drastic improvement, aside from some empty promises. Furthermore, Lithium is becoming increasingly vilified among environmentalists, as making lithium batteries produces an enormous amount of CO2 and is extremely toxic to the environment. As a result, Musk has started looking for an alternative to both the 4680 battery and lithium-ion batteries in general. Recently, diamond nuclear batteries caught Musk's attention, and he has expressed interest in exploring and developing these batteries further. Elon recognizes that if Tesla does not offer a revolutionary new battery type, its lifespan might be cut short, or the company might have to rely heavily on its rivals for batteries. Companies like BYD, Toyota, and CATL are working hard to create alternatives to lithium-ion batteries with higher user potential, with Toyota's solid-state battery being the most notable. However, even Toyota's battery faces challenges because it still relies on lithium. Consequently, Tesla, under Musk's leadership, is experimenting with diamond nuclear batteries as these could allow Tesla's models to offer everything they need to compete with peers. Imagine having a vehicle that can practically go on forever without needing to be recharged. Wouldn't that be amazing? Another key benefit of these batteries is that they don't need to be recharged, which removes the primary environmental impact of EV usage recharging, without the need for conventional recharging. The entire electric vehicle infrastructure wouldn't be necessary. If Tesla were to release the first functional diamond nuclear battery, they could single-handedly stop one of the biggest contributors to the greenhouse effect. A patent on such a product could make Elon Musk the richest person who has ever lived.
The infinite charge and potential of nuclear batteries aren't just beneficial for Tesla but also for SpaceX. These batteries require little to no recharging and can essentially recharge over time by letting the carbon-14 isotope decay and having its beta rays absorbed by the diamonds. This makes them a fail-proof way of powering spacecraft, especially for longer journeys. However, this brings us to the downsides of diamond nuclear batteries. Despite being incredible in theory, they have huge problems that are very difficult to overcome. While nuclear batteries have high energy density and excel at providing consistent, constant low power energy, these batteries struggle horribly to provide the high power output needed for EVs, which is one of the key reasons why they aren't used or largely developed for such an occasion just yet. Sure, these issues aren't the end all be all. However, fixing or overriding these issues is a very complex process that needs quite a bit of time. In addition to that, the public is very skeptical when it comes down to both nuclear energies, let alone having a practically irradiated battery sitting under your butt. Now, rest assured these batteries are designed with maximum safety in mind, as diamonds are incredible at containing the radiation within these layers. The biggest issue is going the route of batteries that use alpha particle emitting isotopes. Alpha particles are easy to stop, even with a sheet of paper, and our skin would most definitely stop them from creating any issues. However, Inhaling alpha particles could lead to fatal outcomes, and while sure, these batteries will be well tucked in, a serious collision could lead to the driver and the surrounding people inhaling alpha particles. That said, batteries that rely on beta particles are not just safer than these batteries but are also a lesser health hazard than both lithium-ion batteries as well as internal combustion engines. This is because they have no moving parts such as a nuclear reactor. This means that there is a 0% chance of the battery overheating. But finally, and most importantly, these batteries will never be cheap, and this is something that simply ruins the perception of them. You see, the biggest issue with lithium-ion batteries is the fact that they are extremely expensive and keep the price of EVs very high to the point that it is rather redundant to buy a cheap-to-run vehicle if you're going to pay 50% more for it compared to a regular vehicle. The same is true for nuclear batteries. Sure. If the standard of living keeps going up and if we start growing as a society altogether, these batteries will have a place for us. However, now, that isn't happening, quite the opposite. That is why we believe that despite the hype surrounding them, nuclear batteries will not be used, at least not in EVs. That said, we are certain that as soon as Elon develops a functioning version of it, he'll start fitting it to his SpaceX spacecraft, as in this case. Nuclear batteries do make a lot of sense as they would essentially allow us to retain constant power in communication with various spacecraft, most notably intergalactic and interstellar ones, for decades and centuries on end. But, as it stands, the EV won't benefit from these batteries, at least not for now. Instead, what we can look forward to are the rapid further developments of lithium-ion and other already existing battery types stuff like Toyota's solid-state battery. Whatever happened to the solid-state battery? As Toyota has gone a bit silent recently? To find out, be sure to check out this video.